Good morning, North Shore. It is a pleasure to be with you this morning to share with you a very special spot in my home. See, many of you went to the theaters a couple months ago and saw War Room, or maybe you're watching it at your churches now, or even in your homes because it's out on DVD, and you might be creating that special place in your home that is your War Room. For those who haven't seen the movie, the War Room is actually your prayer area, and every home, no matter how big or small, you can create a little spot where you can go each day and spend some time with the Lord in prayer and um, so this is my war room this is our special spot that we've created it's where I kind of post all my prayer requests and then also um, as you can see many of you might have seen even on Facebook last night my husband helped to create a little special thing on the wall the more we create this as a, a little quiet spot for me it helps me to get the world out of my head get focused and quite honestly to be still, which for those who know me is very difficult. And yet, you know, lots of times I get questions on what devotional to use. Um, many of y'all know that I've been doing Jesus Calling now for four years. While there's no replacement for the good old Bible and what it says straight from here, um, sometimes devotions help to guide us, doesn't it? And um, so in your Bible, if you're looking for something to read straight from your Bible, um, a recommendation that I make to a lot of people is just start in the book of Proverbs. The Lord Lord has given us 31 chapters in Proverbs, so you can pick whatever day of the month it is and read that chapter, and it's amazing what you'll find. I've been doing that for years in addition to my devotions, and, um, and so this morning I thought I would share with you from Jesus Calling today's devotion for my war room. And uh, on January 6th in Jesus Calling, it says, I am able to do far beyond all that you ask or imagine. Come to me with positive expectations, knowing that there's no limit to what I can accomplish. Ask my spirit to control your mind so that you can think great thoughts of me. Do not be discouraged by the fact that many of your prayers are yet unanswered. Hmm, the war room. Time is a trainer teaching you to wait upon me, to trust me in the dark. The more extreme your circumstances, the more likely you are to see my power and glory at work in the situation. Instead of letting difficulties draw you into worrying, try to view them as setting the scene for my glorious intervention. Keep your eyes and your mind wide open to all that I'm doing in your life. And then of course, there's some verses there for you to read. Wow, what a great reminder of how faithful God is and that he's ever present. So I know in 2016, I want to, um, keep my spiritual life just as strong as my physical life. So I encourage you to take a moment today, spend some time in your war room. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.